What's up guys? Back again. We're back at the tavern. i try to make a couple more things here. Not really sure. Didn't get any comments, so no requests. Nobody's looking for anything in particular, it looks like, so I'm just going to make some random stuff. Um, everybody needs a tavern when they're starting, and maybe you're having the same thing where I'm having, where you're just not really sure what's next, what should be there next. So then maybe we'll just make some random things, maybe we'll do some coloring and see what comes to our minds while we're doing it. I'll start off with the cube, bump it up, go to edit mode tab, and I'm just going to try to make us a candlestick holder, and if you would like one as well, you're welcome to come along with me here. Each tavern table, I'd imagine, would have one. I'm just going to add a few bevels, we'll do six, and then we're going to undo, control B again, and just do it better, something like that, doesn't have to be exact. You could use a start with a cube or a, sorry, a circle if you'd rather. I don't like to use them. I like to make my own, and there's a few different reasons for it. But the biggest one is it just gives me a bit more control of what I'm doing, how much it's circled, how much it's a little bit off, things like that. Um, so what we'll probably do is go I, shrink it in a little bit, and then we're just going to grab that and drag it up like that. If you don't like that. What we could do is E and move this part up if you want it separated. But if you don't, go ahead and undo that. And you can just drag that up if you like. Or you can go I again and drag this piece up. And then it leaves that flat. Okay. Just gives you a bunch of different options on how you can do it. And that's all I want to do here. So give you guys some examples for and let you make up your own mind of what's best for you. All right. So I'll probably just make another, maybe we'll use a cylinder this time, just to be different. Oh, I did it wrong though. Let's get out of edit mode when we do it, because otherwise it'll be attached, and we don't want that. So, something like this, we're going to shrink it way down, something like this. Um, what else would there be? There would be, I know what there would be. Um, how do we do this though? Let's grab these outer-ish edges just a little bit like this. And what this would be is to stop the wax from pouring out of a candle. So it would just be a little lip here like that. That would just have that effect basically. Okay. If you want, I can just give it a little bit more style by going to the bottom, going I, and then pulling it down. And again, just gives it a little more style. Makes it look a little nicer, right? And now it's functional. It actually stops the wax. Now, if you haven't guessed, this will probably be our candle. Okay? But you can do a few things to make it look more like a candle. First, shift D before we do anything. S, shrink it way down. Just bring it up here before we do anything. Go back to that cylinder. We're going to edit. We're going to hit I again, and we're going to do the opposite. We're going to sink this down for it looks like it's burning from the middle all the way out, okay? Just to help give us that look. Now, we just need to add a little bit of fire, and we have our candle. We have our candle tip. You're probably thinking, well, that doesn't look very great, Lord Fish. Where is our handle? Where where do we candle? <laughs> where do we candle our candle? Where do we handle our candle from is what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, that's fine. No problem. We'll make ourselves a, a little handle here. Let's just turn this one way. Um, yeah, you know what? That's perfect. Let's do that. And we will shrink it down, obviously. And then hit S to shrink it down. Until we've got about the size of the handle we want. Okay. And all it is is a little finger hole to stick your, your finger through and helps to hold on to the candle. You put the rest of your fingers underneath and just gives you a little bit of stability while you're holding your candle. All right, shift D this, S it down, and this again is going to depend on your sizing and all that. You find the right size for you to make it look good for what you're after. Maybe you want a big hole, maybe you want a small hole. You do you. Like I always say. Okay, so I'm happy with that. If you're happy as well, go ahead and 
I'm just going to move it up just a hair up like that. I think it looks a little better like that. Again, you decide what's best for you. Um, let's grab everything and then this last, Control J. So there's our control point, and we just need to add a flame to our, our little uh, torch on the table to light up the the room type thing all right um what else would we need probably spoons maybe forks so we'll do those next and we'll probably end the video and see if we get any comments asking for anything else and if not i guess we'll close up our tavern series i don't know if you guys need bars or i don't know what would be sitting around a bar uh i don't go to the bar so i, I just don't know <laughs> i would drag for 20 years so <laughs> i don't know what's at a bar I'm just assuming. Alright, let's do our forks anyways. We'll do those just to get them done and then again we'll wait and see if anybody has any comments or anything like that, but probably not. We're probably all on the same page here and you also don't know what should be at a bar. So I'm going to grab two edges, just this one and just this one and control B them, just like that and stop there. And there's a reason for it. so just need to sort some stuff out first okay now we need to first off grab this little face here and we're gonna move it up and we're gonna grab these second faces and we're gonna also move them up you know what actually let's go back that looks bad Okay, and maybe I'll just grab them all and see what happens here. No. All but the last one, maybe? To give it a spot to adjust from, basically. Hmm. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it a different way. Let's shift D this. Let's try something. Let's try to make this shape into the shape we're going to need. Um, would that work? No. Um, we're probably going to have to grab this edge and go like that. And then Control B. And is it working? Doesn't look like enough. Hmm. Let's do it as much as we can without wrecking it. And then, if we make it taller, maybe it'll be more pronounced. Is all I could think. And then wider. And then... I don't know if this is even going to work, but I thought I'd try it kind of looking like it's not going to work. Yeah, we're just not. Okay, let's try again. Let's make a cube. Sorry about this, guys, but this is part of the process. Is sometimes I don't always know the answers, and I kind of kind of make it up. Today I'm having a little bit of troubles thinking. Not sure why. There's a lot of stuff going on here in Canada. I don't know if you guys heard anything about it, but I got some stuff on my mind. Some of the people I know in my life are involved in some of the problems going on in Canada, so it's a little distracting right now. But I'll do my best to get us through this, and I apologize. Let's just try this. Alright, control B that, and that's more what I want, I guess. Something like that. So let's just do this, and let's see what happens when I run it out this way. What do we got left, guys? Is that the shape we're basically looking for? Something like this, but... More of a curve as we're leaving that spot. Yeah, let's do this and see how this plays out. I got an idea. Hopefully it'll do the same for the other side. thinking yeah let's let's do this and see what we get 
And again, I should have practiced this one. I didn't think a fork could be this hard, though, guys, to be honest. I thought, you know, zip, zap, patty, whack. It's done. But here we are. Okay, maybe grab this guy, and we'll see if we can do something here. So I'm just going to go all but one less every time. Just go up a little bit each time. And see how this looks. It's looking pretty sharp and pretty bad. Let's go back. <laughs> Got a different idea. We are just going to take a 45 degree angle out of the back side and hope that's good enough now. Um, we'll use this piece to do it because it doesn't really matter. Oops the wrong piece there. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's just jack this guy on a 45. Actually that works pretty well. Maybe less than a 45. Let's do a 35. It's a little better. Something like that anyways. Maybe a 25. Okay, That's the one I'm going to use I think guys. And it may not be exactly what I want but it's going to be close enough to give us the exact look we want. I'm going to shift D this before I start, take out the 25, and then we're just going to reuse that guy to do some other pieces up front, but let's first take this out of there, like so, we'll go to Object, Bool Tool, Difference. And if you're not seeing the bool, it's because you are in edit mode, and you need to leave edit mode with tab, okay? I had some people have a lot of trouble with that a long time ago, and I just thought I'd mention it here and there. At first I didn't understand what they meant when they commented and they're like, I can't figure out where the bool is, but I just figured it out the other day. They weren't seeing it because they weren't in edit mode. But um, sometimes it takes you a bit to be like, right, right, that makes sense. Shift D, all right, okay. And I think, um, you know what, let's make it a little thinner. I'm not exactly sure how many prongs are on a fork. I could make you guys wait while I go check. But I'm pretty sure it's four. If not, you guys do the proper amount that you know it is. I think it's four, though. I'm pretty sure. So, this would give us three, right? Shift D. And this would give us four. So then, we will minus that from that. And we should have our fork shape. We finally have it. All right, perfect. Okay, well, let's shift A took us a bit to get there and I apologize for the wait but sometimes when you're making these difficult shapes it's going to be a little bit to get there. Let's make this longer, shrink it smaller, make it longer, just, oh jeez, there we go. Shrink it smaller, something like that. Move it up into place. Okay, it's a little small for what we need. So let's move it back a little bit. Let's do some manipulation of the shape. Okay, let's do, nope, nope, there we go, a little f wider like that, I think we got to be a lot skinnier though, something like this, okay, um, let's move this back and let's try something here, let's make this back side much bigger, and we'll do that by making this face fatter, okay, just like that something like that it gives the fork a little bit more shape and hopefully this is working for you guys I hope you're liking my videos and you're enjoying the stuff I'm making and you're making your own custom stuff that looks really nice I really really truly hope that okay and let me know if you feel like it what you're up to and what you've been making and if this has been helping and then we will just we can make a hair a bit longer and we'll move it in it should look pretty good I'd say Something like this. You can fix the edges a bit if you like. But I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I we've done the job pretty good, right guys? Alright, so I will probably just attach this to this with Control J. And then we'll probably shrink it down because it's way bigger than our plate. And we don't want that. Probably something like this. When you're happy. Good, perfect, move on. Okay, we'll do a spoon. Now we'll get to coloring. 
Um, you know what, let's just do the spoon and we'll do coloring in our next video maybe. Uh, I don't know. Let's do our spoon and we'll see if there's a next video. That's what we'll do. If you guys are watching this and if you're enjoying it and I'm getting comments and people are happy, I'll make another video and if not, I'll just move on to something else. Well, I want to make things that help people, so if nobody needs it, then there's no point, really. Alright, let's make a spoony shape, something like that. Now that's a nice a spoon. Okay. And we will move this up. And I know, obviously, it's a little big, but that's fine. I. Okay. Now, maybe we... Um, use your arrows to move it down a bit as you do this okay then you can push I again and you get your spoon shape okay spoon shape perfect okay well how we're gonna make the bottom you're probably thinking well, let's shift D this okay so take one of them, move it a bit up, take the other one, move it a bit up, and we'll make this bottom one a bit bigger. Move it up a bit more like this, okay? And then we will take one from the other. And it should give us our spoon shape on the bottom, okay? Now obviously there's a thickness issue, it's a bit thick, I get that. Something more like this. Maybe you want to raise some of the edges. Maybe you want to do something else to make it look more like your spoon that you're imagining in your head. That's fine. And this is how I'm going to do mine because I like the way it's shaped. Maybe I'll do that actually. That'll look good. Okay, so I'm going to shift A again. And we're going to make a cube. And that spoon went a lot smoother, didn't it? You know what? That's the funniest thing too is I thought the spoon was going to give me trouble trying to get that shape and then the fork gave me the most trouble sometimes you don't know what it's gonna be right <laughs> anyways shrink that down shrink that down and alright and almost there gonna do the same thing uh, make this end a little bit thicker than the other end and the reason being is when we round it out it'll look better and you'll see what I mean in just one second Let's do it now, actually. Control B, round it out. Okay, when you're happy, stop. Just giving our spoon a little bit more shape there, as you can see. And you might want to put a little bit of a dip in the handle, but I'm honestly not too concerned about it. As long as it pretty much looks like a spoon, I think I'm going to be pretty happy about it. So maybe um, just make the handle smaller. And something like that. And we might want to make our spoon just stick out just a little bit more on the very bottom face. So maybe we'll just move it down a little bit. And we could do another eye. Oops. Eye if we want. And then we could go down a little bit more if we really want. Just to try to make it protrude a little bit more out of the bottom. When you're happy, though, go ahead and attach them. Control J and shrink them because they got to be around the size of normal utensil and I think we got our utensils guys hope this has been a lot of fun for you today make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you thumbs up you can check out my game below there should be a link fished in a town to remember available on steam it's pretty fun you guys are gonna love it and alright we'll catch you next time bye bye